Impact Basketball is a juggernaut. You form a real bond that is lifelong. All these players want to come in here and be able to work out. It shows how big Impact is and how well Joe has done. Impact's been the basketball mega here in Vegas. The history and the culture of Impact is special. You see all the names on the wall, just how many important and special people have gotten better and grown you know, through Joe Abunazar and Impact Basketball. There's two kind of people in the world. Yeah, two is, kind of players, is, two kind is. of players. Okay. There's the players that plan everything else around basketball and the players that plan basketball around everything else. And there's a big difference in the bottom line income from the first group to the second group. I'm Joe Abunasar, Impact Basketball. Been doing this a long time. Started doing player development in 1997 when I finished coaching. Was a student manager for Coach Knight at Indiana. Coach Knight, the way he affected the young guys' lives in his program was really what inspired me to want to coach basketball. Got lucky with a couple good players and find myself here today, 25 years later, training players still. Teron Lou from Mexico, Missouri. Went to college for three years, came out in the draft, and um, that's when I met Joe Abunazar. We started out in Bloomington, Indiana, and then we migrated to Sarasota, Florida. And Joe made a big jump and said he wanted to take impact basketball to Las Vegas. We came to Vegas in 2006, so the concept was come to Vegas, train hard, play hard, hang out together, that type of thing. Once we got to Vegas with the Steven Jackson, Baron Davis, Paul Pierce, everyone would come through here and it took it to a whole nother level. When you think about the first guys that I trained, Lou, Billups, Prince, Harrington, Dante Jones, and KG, they were all friends. You know, so when, when they came together to train with me, it was a really great event. We would work out individual skill development stuff in the morning. And then the games that we would play every day was a battle, man. Chauncey had brought me along to his summer workouts when I was a rook, and uh, it was an impact. You have all these superstar players it was basically like an all-star game in pickup. I used to bring my guys into gym and they'd play us five against all the different guys that were in town and my guys just stay on the floor. I remember just sitting there watching them dominate gyms, you know, and feel real proud of that group that we were building a culture of guys who worked hard, played hard, really had good cohesion. We wasn't just there working on our individual, like ISO, everybody watch out, like street ball. We were actually learning the NBA game, running pick and rolls, running pin downs, like actually learning how to play basketball, play the game. KG had once said, if they hadn't all gotten better, I would have been done, right? So, I mean, there is a, there is a, a, a validity to what I'm doing as a trainer. When you close out, hands gotta be up. Because in the NBA, if your hand's down, you're f***ing. Stay lower all the time. Stay lower. Hey, so when you led, OK, we talked about getting your chest in front. But you got to move hips and chest. So not just there, because then you'd be off balance, OK? I hate it when trainers had these cookie cutter workouts. So everybody's going to do this workout. Well, I need something differently than the next guy. Attention to detail that way is one of the things that Joe was incredible at. When I get to you and I got training camp in two months, there's something that my coach told me to work on this summer. I got to share that with you as the trainer, and then you have to put my program together. It's going to be different than everybody else. On the catch, bam, 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 pull up. Twos or threes, whatever you want. So quick handle right to a pull up. So as you catch, try to get low and go with it. So jogging it down, good. Now go to work right there. That's it. Yep, good. So our workouts today are much different than they were 10 years ago. Al Harrington and I work exclusively in the mid post. I don't think I've done a post drill with anybody in three years. The whole game has changed. Me being on my toes, understanding what the NBA is running is critical. The evolution of how the game is played 
has totally changed our approach to the workouts. It's also brought back the importance of fitness because it's such a fast game, right? So you gotta be in shape. Take down, we're gonna hold here first. I'm gonna do some core stuff with you down here. One, two, three. Feet come up to me, keep them straight. Let them skim the ground and come back up. One, your boxing stuff. Two, three. I am personally into nutrition. I am personally into fitness. I have always thought that NBA players, they're not fit enough. I thought to myself, these guys are killing it. If I could get them to maximize their physical, their speed, their energy level. Passion to these guys to get them to eat better, to get them to take care of their bodies more. That started in 1997. When I first started working with Joe, I didn't know much, so he built me basically from the ground up and teaching me how to take care of my body, how to eat, how to work. We would deliver guys back to training camp at you know all-time low body fat. Physical training that we did, you know, sometimes it wasn't even in the gym at all. We might be running sand dunes, we might be running hills. The skill development is important, but I didn't teach Garnett how to shoot or, or Kyle Lowry how to shoot. But what I did do is guide them in a way that kept them healthy, kept them performing at their peak. Got that good work in. Training to the stars, Joe Abunazar, Impact Basketball. Me and my nephew, we got it in today. I'll bust my ass today, man. Get buckets. <laughs> <laughs> yup, yup. Got my other youngster in here. Just killed me, dog. <laughs> Y'all better be careful. <laughs> So I think that's really what sets us apart and continues to. You know, there's skilled trainers all over the world that they don't know a thing about nutrition. You know, and I think that that's really important when someone comes into our program. The hydration strategy that we'll use is a sweat patch. It's 115 degrees in the summer every single day. You know, so you're in the gym and you're working out and then you go home and you're sweating even more. Hydration is a really, really important thing. We get a pretty cool readout from the patch here where we look at everything from our, our sweat rate to the amount of sodium that we lose here per hour. The intensity of the, the workout is something that we plug in to get a more accurate reading. We have a really great team of staff that helps me do what we do. Isaac Morier is our director of sports nutrition, which is a critical piece to us. And what's cool about Isaac is he played pro ball in England there, so he has a basketball player's approach to nutrition, which is very rare. The opportunity to influence their lives and their careers through nutrition, that's something that's pretty special. Okay, what, well, how much can we squeeze out of you more? You know? How can we add another three or five years to your career? People ask me all the time, why do so many people come to Impact? It's because they like being there. It's just like everyone's happy in there. It's positive, very positive environment. You, know, you, got, you got people from Europe, you got young kids from Europe looking up to, here comes Carmelo Anthony in the door. People have said, it's, if you like basketball, it's Disneyland. It's like Disneyland for a basketball fan. You just don't know who you're gonna see. You almost have this incredible mix of the basketball world in our gym every day. The jerseys on our wall of the NBA guys are, are really special to me. There's a, if you notice, a few WNBA uh, banners, Kelsey Plum and Asia Wilson and Jackie Young. When I first came to Impact and I saw the jerseys on the wall, I was 16 years old. Now to come in here and see my jersey up there, it's super dope. We've been here a long time. You know, I've had, I've had a real blessing and chance to work with some amazing players. Sometimes when I look, I miss those guys. I'm just proud, man. This thing came a long way. 25 years, it makes you feel good knowing that you were one of the first people to actually be involved with that. Those founding fathers, they really helped me build it. If it weren't for those guys sticking behind me, there would be no impact.